Hey, what's going on guys? Come on, Kinsey here. In this video, I'd like to present a new project I've started working on. So I took a good old ad text editor, which is the standard Linux text editor. I'm sorry for, for pronouncing this wrong. I know it's pronounced like ED, but I like pronouncing it ad. Anyways, uh, it was originally written by Ken Thompson back in 1973. So like 48, 49 years ago, it's really older than I am. I'm, I'm only 34. It was written in C originally, um, and yeah. So what we can say about this editor, well, I'm not sure that the current GNU version uh, is actually this exact one, so it's probably not. And actually, if you have a look at the source code, indeed, it's, it's not really, doesn't seem to be that original code. But anyways, the ideas, the, Im the implementation, and uh, this, like, like they call it the GNU version, more or less POSIX compliant version they have there. So it's real classics, and uh, this this editor, this text editor, is the line-oriented air editor, which means that you can't uh, see the whole buffer visually, like in uh, VI, Vim, uh, Emacs, or like uh, Nano, for instance, or modern text editors. But instead, you work from the command line. Uh, just I'll now demonstrate how how the original version looks like. But what I do. I actually, indeed, uh, I'm trying to convert the original ad into something VI, like the, into the full screen editor, right? Uh, so a bit of a history. So VI is the like visual front end for X editor written by Bill Jai. Not sure when exactly, but somewhere back in the day as well. And what Bill Jai did initially, so initially he advanced, enhanced uh, the ad editor to X, so it had like more features, more robust, like better, uh, better thing generally. Well, uh, it's arguable, like it's it's more advanced, but yeah. But I really love, but what I have, but when I had a look at the original ad editor, I really loved how its original simplicity is done, basically. And yet you have a, a text editor that you can actually use. And I heard that a whole lot of software back in the day was actually written in this editor. And it was totally fine for people like in the past to not use the full screen editors, but instead use uh, editors like Ad. And that was, was quite pretty cool. So um, I decided what if I can enhance uh, the original Ad editor with uh, the full screen editing feature. So try and kind of provide a front end full screen visual i don't know it's not a plugin it's like interface let's say uh and so that eventually i could have i could have something like vi but not based on x but based on ad based based on the original ad so that's that's my goal that's the goal for the project i'm sorry for it's take a little bit too long to explain the the original idea behind it, but just 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 want to make sure that everyone actually understands what I'm talking about here. So, uh, what I want to demonstrate now. So now let's let's have a look at the original ad editor. So it starts. If you don't really like, just say add and hit enter. This is how it starts. So let's escape. Uh, let's actually specify the prompt like colon. It's just a little bit better. So if I want to print the current line, I, I'm, give it, I'm getting the error because, well, actually I can uh, enhance uh, like what's going wrong. Uh, like I just enabled the error messages. So invalid address means that there is the, the buffer is currently empty actually. So I can append to the buffer and I can say hello and say world and dot, or sorry, it's called pirate, period. To terminate uh, the entering, like, to terminate like this, it was sort of an insert mode at some point, and you can do A to append and I to insert to the previous line. It also, I guess, it should also be possible to insert to the certain line numbers. So it has a whole lot of features which are really, really cool. If, if you, if one master, I haven't yet do this, but really hope to do this one day, like in the near future, hopefully. Anyways, so now if I say P, I, I have this last line been printed and I can say like one, for instance, this is the first line, two, the second line, if I say uh, from one to two and then print, I have this, like uh, all the tags that I have. I can now save it, I can do whatever. So just wanted to give you an idea that, well, well for instance, I wanna change uh, the, first, uh, the first line, I can say one, change, 
uh, and like one, two, three, four, for instance. And again, print all. You see, like that just changed the first line. So I'm not sure if it's possible to, or probably it's not possible to just fix a single character in uh, in a line. So just possible to replace the, the entire line. And this really reminds me the the good old school uh, basic uh, like basic programming language editors where you had the line numbers to to deal with. By the way, we we can do the line numbers here as well. So if I say like this, it also prints the line numbers. So it's really cool. Um, now imagine what happens uh, if we uh, just poured this uh, this column uh, column based uh, command line to a visual interface. It's like the column in VI or or Vim down below. Uh, well, I can I currently have so it's a modify buffer. It's okay. Quit. So I currently uh, have. It's a very, very early stage. It's nothing really much to to, sh to show. But anyway, you just just want to jump straight straight into it. So make and uh, I call this project VED, a V ad, which stands for Visual Ad. And let's go. So by default, when I have an empty buffer, it just like the Vim or let's not VI actually doesn't do this, I believe. Uh, like Vim does, it just prints some messages, and this indicates that the buffer is currently empty. So, if, uh, and notice this, notice this uh, uh, column down below. It means that I'm already in in this command mode. So I, I didn't yet uh, didn't yet implement the system to actually uh, like going back and forth from this visual editing mode back to the command mode. It's something yet to be done, and it's not that trivial because I'm still all I do currently at the moment. I'm more like looking and digging into the add code base, try to figure out how this works, and yet I managed to, yet I only managed to actually print the buffer, uh, like uh, dynamically update the buffer, like print the, how the buffer is getting updated, uh, if I execute the command. So without further ado, I just, just want to demonstrate. So if I say Q, for instance, I exit just like uh, from the regular add text editor, right? Uh, another interesting thing, so if I have a look at the source code for this vAd module, for instance, so vAd, uh, vAd.c, uh, I just print uh, some lines, it's not the entire file, and I don't yet have a feature to scroll, because just note again down below, I'm currently at this uh, command mode, so I can't yet, I can't manipulate the buffer, but I can print the first few lines of code here, and for instance, I can even like change the first line, so if I say one change, and I just say like hello world for instance. Then you see I just changed the this initial first uh, this initial first line. Uh, so yeah, it's yet about to implement like the features to get get out of this mode. And yeah, I'm still in the insert mode. So if I just uh, if I be like inserting some new lines, um, I'm still like see like can bring these lines in, which is good. Uh, anyways. Um, Let's just uh, do the period here and try to escape from here. Uh, yes. And quit. And now it tells me the buffer is modified. So so I just for so so this uh, out here in my terminal is currently in the raw mount mode. No echo and I'm rendering everything like frame frame by frame. Well actually I'm rendering every time uh, every time read key event occurs. Um and that's how it's intended to be. So, anyways, yeah, every, uh, it's just it's complicated. It's getting from different sides, like uh, to, to activate this one. I'm, I'm using the command prompt, uh, command prompt routine, which is the loop for the command prompt. And actually, I'm living within this, within, within this command prompt loop now, currently in the moment. And actually, there are two nested command loops. So, if you're just doing one command loop, and some commands, like a pan, for instance, goes to uh, to a sub sub loop that actually uh, like allows to take the user input back and then it ju just dropped to the previous one. It doesn't matter, it's just a little bit complicated. I don't, don't really want to overwhelm you with these details. This is not that important. Uh, what I want to do instead, I want to show you one last thing. Um, so to say I just started a new document, right? And I say append um, and yes, let's say hello and world so i'm just now working in, in the new document and if i just uh add some random gibberish here and then period to, to drop from the execution 
uh, and now I say right and so the good the cool thing about this that I don't need to implement the hundreds of features that are already available in the ad and I can reuse them uh, within this uh, this visual editor or this which is hopefully about to come one day so I can say right and let's call it hello.txt only oh, yeah, I have that file and now I can quit and it doesn't prompt me that something got wrong because it's already uh, like I just saved and if I now list uh, I should have the hello txt somewhere I should have the hello donut yes here it is here is the hello txt so um, yes I can just have a look what is in there hello.txt dot txt and we got this and also obviously I can open this newly created file with this editor as well to keep to keep like editing so yeah um if I make any progress on this project I would be happy to share the results and like uh, upload some more videos on this uh and what I want to hear from you guys is what actually what do you think about the idea and I'm not sure how practical this would be initially and definitely it's not even be, be it won't be even close to compete with BI or Vim because it's based on Ed and Ed itself is not that sophisticated as X uh, which is the base for uh, VI and Vim at some point uh, but anyways uh, you know like this is my very first time trying to build something I don't know practical let's say some, something more or less serious on top of someone else's code and not just someone random someone else's code but actually on um, the GNU code so I'm really wondering what do you think uh, and before I go uh, just a very quick walk uh, through the service code um, so I've downloaded the service code for ads from here from GNU or IP connect blah 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 from so I just took this one version 1.4 it's not developed since 2 to 2009 20, 20, and I love the software which is no longer developed because it just it's stable it's forever it would never change again it's so cool so I really love that sort of software so I downloaded this and um, here is the main I've configured. Here is the main file has been created. So I've already added two more files like terminal and vvz.o. So this is the code base of the original uh, project. What I added is this terminal. So this file allows to put the terminal to, to the raw mode and restore it back and also clear the screen. So some terminal, some visual routines, terminal related routines here and also I have this VED uh, which is my main thing to render what you've just seen on the screen so like printing the info messages for uh, service to dynamically display what I'm typing in the command prompt uh, status bar is that light line below like light, light, light line up, uh, above that uh, command prompt uh, print buffer it actually does print the buffer so what you see within the file if, or if you're dynamic appended to this that's also it so yeah probably later I will put this to the io.c because uh, io while well, deals with input and output it seems quite natural to so it's like all this uh, like original routines like to display the lines for instance it's within the io uh, did I did I yeah displaying lines yeah, that's what you, that's what happens if in the original ad you say like a p command or n command to print the current line or like with or without uh, the line number, for instance. So uh, th all this is handled here. And because I'm in the raw mode and because I'm uh, updating the screen like to to, to my own rules, uh, the output of the original ad is well it's, I can't say it's suppressed it's just uh, overwritten let's say it's overwritten by the output of uh, of my visual interface of my visual front-end part so uh, I'm developing here mostly I'm developing here in this VED.C uh, and yeah once the function is more or less fine one, one of the previous ones I'm really proud of is uh, this little thing, this few lines of code, and it took me hours to figure out how, how to make this. So literally, what happens here? I'm questioning, I'm um, uh, querying uh, the original buffer, which is actually represented as the link list, uh, which is 
it's interesting weapon of weapon of choice for representing text buffer for uh, for for the text editor. So I've been using uh, I've been using just uh, just a like just a array basically array of structs, and I was dynamically adding and removing uh, things from there, like adding line, removing the line. So here it's all done quite differently. And my goal, my prior goal is to stick to how, how this is done in the original implementation, or well, mostly to learn about this. And I, even if I don't get much practice, something much practical from this, still, you know, like, like working with the existing ad code base is, is really fascinating and exciting experience. And, you know, like, I feel, I feel so good about it because, you know, yeah, it just, I don't know, it's just pleasing, it's really pleasing, and it's really satisfying I would say so yeah here um, this, is, this is the pointer to uh, the line so buffer is the current line uh, that I need to get from the internal buffer that I'm about to be displaying on this visual display it's calculated here it's not that important now so it returns so this line returns a pointer to the line and again like this this is like the link list so the line is just one one element within this link list and then I'm not quite sure how exactly this works but uh, the next operation is actually to extract the part of text from that link list and uh, and store it to, to a variable and then within this variable I can actually like, uh, adjust the horizontal scroll uh, as needed and then I can append this to the screen buffer, which is customly created here, and then the screen buffer has been printed to uh, to the console. Uh, I don't even yet have the get window size. I, I, I have that prepared already, but I didn't yet include this in the project, so for now it's just the standard 80 by 24. It would be uh, like calculating the current um, size of the window later on, and one day I really hope to implement this dynamic sizing as well. Uh, somehow should be somehow related on signals and, and single sing, signals are being handled here uh, yeah, within the ad somehow so maybe I can reuse that functionality I'm not sure anyways so this is pretty much it from my side uh, as for today's video so again like please let me know what you think in the commentaries uh, what do you what do you guys think about this project so is this exciting for you just like it is for me or not probably not but anyways really like to hear from you this is it from, uh, this is it from my site thanks for watching until the next time and take care